Hey, welcome back everybody, Drone Tech here. So when you turn on the news and you see all these stories about parents protesting at school boards against critical race theory, it has nothing to do with learning about history. We all want people to learn American history, even the bad parts, but this actually has nothing to do with that. and has everything to do with a far left Marxist ideology that broadly judges and demonizes a group of people based on their skin color, using a warped context free version of history to justify the bigotry. They want people thinking that it's something scholarly or substantiated when the truth is, it's just racist snake oil that we've seen from all purveyors of hate. That's what parents are protesting, because CRT leads to this. I'm hmm. about to uh, talk with their parents about their ideas about this stuff, because a lot of white people don't talk about their whiteness. Mm -hmm. they, it, even the fact that you call them white, they get pissed off about that, because mm -hmm. they don't think about They just think of themselves as human beings. Everybody else ain't a human being, but they are. Mm -hmm. They believe white equals human, but in fact, white is anti-human. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, wow, he seems very proud of his racist conspiracy theory here, where he assigns traits and thoughts to people based on their skin color. Imagine this guy has credibility as a professor. He's actually out there teaching generations of kids this hate. This guy is an open extremist who thinks Ibrahim X Kendi is too soft and too individualistic, as he puts it. Okay. All right. So, so, so when you when you say that, are you are you uh, echoing uh, Ibram Kendi's popularity and, and his and, and his efforts? No, no. I, I wouldn't want to be compared to him at all because I think his book is too individualistic. Okay. This guy, Professor Johnny Eric Williams, nice name, is no stranger to these outlandish, openly racist statements. He once said that white people are terrorists, as in being white existing as a white person is terrorism in itself. Now, the real question here should be, what parent would want their kid taught through the prism of critical race theory when this is where it leads? Who in their right mind would argue that these parents are wrong to stand up to these school boards and stop open racism that's directed right at them? The answer is, of course, the National School Board Association. Not only do they want to take away the parents' rights to make their voices heard, but they also want to label these parents as domestic terrorists. Remember what I've been saying for years? That the left and Democrats literally want to criminalize their political opposition. Well, here you go. The National School Boards Association is asking the White House and the Education Department to help ensure the security of its members. And the group's president, Viola Garcia, is joining us now to talk about this. Well, we, we need support. Uh, we need uh, reinforcement. Uh, uh, we uh, Our letter to the White House uh, really is indicative of uh, the seriousness uh, of the situation for school board members, but more especially for students uh, in our public schools. We rarely, I, I don't know the number of incidents, uh, perhaps in grocery stores, but the greatest number and the biggest concern that we have are the threats of violence, the coordinated efforts that we seem to see because of the similarities across the uh, state lines. Uh, and so uh, it, it, pause, it gives us pause, it gives us great pause. So the NSBA actually sent a letter to Comrade Biden begging him to suppress their political opposition to fellow communists. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, you can do that if you want, but it basically boils down to this. Quote, as the threats grow and news of extremist hate organizations showing up at school board meetings is being reported, this is a critical time for a proactive approach to deal with this difficult issue. It's the old, my political opposition are terrorist hate mongers, so the government should be used to shut them up and put them down. They did it to Bush supporters, they did it to the Tea Party, they did it to Trump supporters, and now they're doing it to parents who are just standing up for their kids. So they won't be indoctrinated with racist snake oil that teaches them that white people aren't human and the sources of everyone's problems. I especially love this part where they justify taking action against these parents who disagree with their indoctrination tactics, saying, quote, the NSBA also requests that the U.S. Postal Inspection Service intervene against threatening letters and cyberbullying attacks that have been transmitted to students, school board members, district administrators, and other educators. Now, I'm not for threatening letters or any of that, but let's be real here. We all receive threats. Even I get death threats. This is their justification for calling parents domestic terrorists. However, somehow when it's Democrats doing the harassment and threatening, suddenly it's all just part of the process. Look at how Biden just responded to video of Democrat voters harassing and chasing a senator into the bathroom at Arizona State University. I just want, Mr. President, uh, you're talking about how you have 48 Democratic votes right now. The other two 
uh, have been pressured over the weekend by activists. Joe Manchin had people on kayaks show up to his boat to yell at him. Senator Sinema last night was chased into a restroom. Do you think that those tactics are crossing a line? I don't think they're appropriate tactics, but it happens to everybody. From the, <laughs> the only people it doesn't happen to are people who have Secret Service standing around them. Um, so uh, it's, it's, it's part of the process, yes. <laughs> it's different when they do it. The fact is, our schools have been taken over by communists who are now using their power to indoctrinate generations of kids to be good communist foot soldiers. That's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe. You might also let me know how you feel in the comment section.